Welcome to Sunday Exclusive. Hi, I'm Momo and today we are going to make long bodice dress with pattern. But due to long length of video, we are distributed in, in two parts. The part one is about cutting and only cutting and the second part is about sewing. So let us start with the cutting and each and every thing that we are going to do. This is a back bodice as you can see. I have knitting ready with my scale, my pencil and my pins and my pattern of course. Today we are going to make a long bodice dress with 18 inch long that is 12 inch bodice and 6 inch skirt in length of course. I have taken a fabric with a cotton which is which has a pink abstract print kind of thing on it it's not abstract it's a square with the eye on it and I'm going to cutting it this is the my back bodice panel this is this video is going to be very simple and the next one has a surprise for you as well because you're not going to imagine what I'm going to teach you because there is some twist with gathering that we are going to give in a skirt and what about this dress this, uh, this, uh, this dress is uh, just about pattern and you are going to find a free version of the pattern of similar size in the on the dress .com, as similar to the a line dress hope you guys like about a line dress pattern and do comment in the comment section please you can see that the bodice is about 12 inch in height and uh, i'm just going to let see, see yeah this is the perfect point i think Yes, this is the 12 inch in size and I'm just going what is a marking over here is a zipper area which is going to be 1 inch or 1.5 inch wider as compared to the front because front is, doesn't have a zipper so we didn't need it whenever you need to install a zipper on the back you need to have a 1.5 or 1 inch wider width I'm talking about on fold width that's the main point if you are not understand the on fold and fold and what is the plain width and open fabric I'm going to have this thing on dresscraft.com that is going to explain you each and every point of it As you can see I have taken again the back pattern okay and what I'm going to do I'm going to cut it according to the back pattern and then going to simulate it for the front size for the front bodice so you guys if you guys have only back pattern or you don't know how to make a front pattern you can see this video and know how to do this that's why I have taken this pattern uh, because the pattern going to have the front and bodice uh, standalone but if you guys wanted to know you can see I'm measuring the neckline which is about one three inch in depth and three inch in high in width I'm going to mark in a square this is all the and I'm point to 45 degree angle and just going to make the point that's it you can see that all you need to do is just going to watch what I am doing this to see I have made it's about uh, 1.9 inch from the depth till the end of the bodice 
okay let me tell you that the bodice end is going to be on the hip line of the baby because this is a long bodice and it is not going to end on the vest it is going to end on the hip line or hip girth okay this is my fabric you can see this is very nice uh, settled and you going to use a very pinky kind of fabric and it is going to be used in summer spring winter whatever you want okay this is the bonus part for you guys this is a pattern for puff sleeve and it is also going to be attached in it and uh, if you want it you can be you can wait or try to come again and again this is probably going to up for within two or three days okay I'm going to cut my specific fabric and just take that away what pattern does pattern make us comfortable very well and we are not going to come in any kind of hassle and just going and going to follow the pattern edges and this then and gun done with surgery puff sleeve has a specific common factor as you can see the front and both armholes armholes have different arcs in it so puff sleeve has some diff different kind of artistic way of making so i have included it in it i'm going to make uh, six to seven air baby patterns which are, which are going to available in craftsy uh, as you can as you know my all the patterns are available in craftsy for different sizes and each and specific patterns are going to free on dresscraft.com as you, uh, you have seen the front back and the puff sleeve pattern that is the upper part is done for me and now I'm just making the six inch in height of for a skirt and uh, just going to mark it and just cut it it is going to be a rectangular piece of fabric as you can see I have taken in total 20 inch of fabric in width and on fold is going to be 10 that means that our skirt is going to be in total 20 inch in wide and 6 inch in length if you want to if you don't want a gathered skirt and you want just want a simple a line kind of a skirt then this this doesn't need an, or you are out of fabric this also be happened with you guys um, so just use um, around 12 inch wide and it's going to be customized for you guys see this is not a different thing okay this is my final pattern you can see my back side is going to be my back side is wider than front side my skirt and my puff sleeve as you can see that uh, my front part is still not doesn't have a neckline properly but I'm going to finish it and this is going to do uh, this is we are going to do it in, in our next video which is uploaded one by one simultaneously you can just scroll down a bit or just uh, wait for my link or just click on the eye and you got the link and this is going to do we are going to have the back pattern the front pattern the front bodice which is going to decorative stuff and the laces the white lace and the white and pink lace and the ribbon of course for decoration part all these are the decoration but bodice always need frog always need a bodice part uh, sorry frog always need a decorative part so i uh, hope you guys going to watch the another part of the show because uh, this is going to be awesome thank you <laughs>